All right, enjoy. Hi, everybody. It's 11.29. Not nice. I'm just gonna wait a minute and then we're gonna start. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, Thursday. <laughs> And the countdown has begun. So it is 11.30 and we can start. So I am at 80 Riverside Boulevard, the Rushmore apartment, 11B. It's on for $3,650,000. Um, it is gorgeous. It's 2,176 square feet. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the views. Um, direct views right out onto the Hudson, which are gorgeous, all the way up the Hudson. Even with an overcast sky, they're beautiful. So let's do a quick tour of the apartment and then I'll cook you a little bit. Cook you, cook some stuff for you. So we're walking into the foyer, which is absolutely lovely. Um, it's always great when the owners um, have beautiful taste. To the left is a huge walk-in closet for shoes and coats and stuff for your shoes um, and baseball hats. And then I'm going to the right and to the right and straight ahead is a really, really big living room. Really nice. And now we're gonna walk to the dining area. Hey, Michael. Uh, to the dining area, which is really pretty. And then I'm gonna back up from the dining area and show you basically dining area straight down um, into this gorgeous kitchen that I'm gonna cook in in a few minutes. So that's the living, dining, foyer, and coat area. But look at this kitchen, it is sick. Um, microwave, four burner stove, great oven, really big fridge that's extremely organized and then tons of storage space. Um, that's great. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to the entrance and start again. So I'm gonna walk straight and make a left and then a quick right. And we are now in the master, which is a, has another huge closet. And going into the master, there is an ensuite bathroom which is really pretty. And a stand-up shower and a tea for two soaking tub. And then master bedroom. And here you're facing east and have a great view of the city. Okay, I lost you. Um, now what I'm doing again is walking out I'm walking into the second bedroom, um, which also has an ensuite bathroom and soaking tub, well, regular tub, nice sink, toilet, and then another really pretty um, view of the second bedroom. Now I'm gonna walk to the third bedroom, which is currently set up as an office. Hello, chef. Scott, hope all is well. So, more closets, tons of closets that are on your way into the third bedroom or your office, whatever you want. I mean, the apartment is massive. Um, washer, dryer. The amenities of this building are like over the top. Um, and as soon as we can start showing the amenities, hey, Joel, as soon as we can start showing the amenities, I'm really excited to... Uh, bring you there and show you the amenities, but right now I'm showing you the apartment. So this is set up as an office slash guest room, a uh, big closet. Again, there's closets everywhere. And cats are just little people with fur coats. Yes, okay. Um, and then another really nice view um, out onto the Hudson. So 
It is a great apartment and we can show it to you. We don't need to send you a video, but there is gonna be a video that we're gonna be producing um, on tomorrow that should come out on Monday or Tuesday, which is, uh, which will be a lot of fun. All right, so what I'm gonna do here today, and I'm gonna set this up on my camera in a second, but I'm going to make an old school dish called a Monte Cristo. And it's really good for kids because you can make, basically do whatever you want. It's like a grilled cheese, but it's with eggs as well. So in these sandwiches, I did ham and Swiss, I did pickles, and I also did pickled jalapenos, mustard and mayonnaise. <clears throat> Hi, Suzanne. Suzanne. Mustard and mayonnaise, and what I'm going to do is crack these three eggs, whip them, put a little bit of salt and pepper, then I'm going to dip the sandwiches into the egg, and then I'm going to fry them right here. Okay? So let me just set up the camera. Hold on. Give me one second. Hi, Chris Connor. Whoa. Perils of being your own photographer. All right. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the eggs and I'm gonna crack them into this little bowl. One, two, three, a little bit of shell. I'm gonna put that into the sink. Little paper towel. And then I'm gonna turn on this fire. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil into the pan. And I'm going to mix the eggs just like you're making scrambled eggs. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, crack, uh, fresh salt and pepper. And really, it looks like you're making an omelet. And then it's really simple. I'm just gonna wait till this gets warm and um, cook the, uh, the sandwiches in there. Does that make sense? Catalina Torres, how are you, dear? We miss you at 194. We've been going up on the roof every night, Catalina. It's been really a lot of fun. Um, and we miss all of you guys. Please send the girls a big hug. Tell Mauricio we love him. Um, obviously we love the girls too. So, sandwich, look how delicious that looks. I'm gonna dip that in the egg. All right. And I am going to put that on the pan. Like that. Hello. And I'm gonna show you what the eggs, what the sandwiches look like in the pan as well in one segundo. All right. So, right now, these are just cooking in the pan and sauteing. And I'm gonna get them nice and brown. And then I'm gonna flip them and you know, there's a, you know, a lot of things that you can serve with the sandwich. Um, you can serve them with you know, uh, vinegar and salt potato chips, you can serve them with homemade potato chips, you can serve them with fresh vegetables, whatever you want. But what's fun about this, especially for the kids, is that it's not like, hey kids, we're making you a ham and Swiss cheese sandwich. No, it's like, hey kids, we're gonna make you a ham and Swiss cheese sandwich with pickled jalapenos and pickles, um, and then daddy's gonna use Himalayan sea salt and black pepper, and we're gonna cook it with eggs, just like an omelet. And I think that, um, you know, I think what that does, hey Kenny, I think what that does is just make it more interesting for the kids, um, which is important, because as we all know, kids get really bored really fast. So, um, full disclosure, I may have put the uh, sandwiches in before the um, pan was hot enough, but that's okay. If there's a will, there's a way. 
And you know what? Sometimes people just mess up and sandwiches won't be that good. But they'll be good, I promise. So I'm gonna see how this is looking. Alright, we're getting there. And the other thing is, I don't really like mayonnaise for me personally, but um, I put mayonnaise in here. So you could do a sriracha mayonnaise, you can do a um, lemon mayonnaise, a lime mayonnaise, um, you know, whatever you want to change up the flavor of the sandwich. So they're sounding nice and, they're getting crisp right now. Nice and crisp. Virginia, how are you, Virginia Conti? starting to look, these sandwiches, they look great. Really yummy. So hold on. So really you're just making, you're like making eggs, but you're making a grilled cheese sandwich with ham with eggs, which is really, really good. So I'm gonna show you one of these finished products and you're gonna die because it looks so good. But that's really what the sandwich looks like. It's just like a nice grilled sandwich. Um, that's it. This was a quick one, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna finish doing these. Um, and I may leave these for the sellers. And if anybody has any questions, please comment below. But really you want these nice and crispy um, so the kids will like them. I am definitely making a mess of my cellar's kitchen. Um, but they look really good, like really good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, delicious. So that's it. So I'm going to take these out now. And I'm going to leave them for the cellars. And I'm going to keep going throughout the day. So that, those are the sandwiches. So have a great day, everybody. And remember, 80 Riverside Boulevard, let me show it to you. It's gorgeous. And if I can't show it to you, Carolyn will. Have a good day, guys. Bye.